Good day everyone, I'm your Mr. ATL and welcome back to my channel. So today's video, we're going to solve some problems involving compound interest but this time compounding more than a year. So let's start with a problem. Mr. Wong invested 10,000 pesos in a bank. How much will be his money after 5 years when its interest rate is 2% compounded A. Annually and B. Semi-annually. Okay, so we're going to solve for A. Annually and for B. Semi-annually and then we're going to compare if they will have the same amount of money or future value. Okay, so I'm going to draw a table for annually and for semi-annually for us to compare what is happening behind this. So here is the table. So A for annually and B for semi-annually. So let us recall that the principal amount of money that Mr. Wong invested is 10,000 pesos and its interest is the same as 2%. But for the for letter A, it's annually and in letter B, it's semi-annually. So, on the first column, it represents the number of years. So, since we are asking or we are being asked to solve for how much money will be his money after 5 years, therefore, for, for annually, this is for after one year, after two years, after three years, four years, and after the last year, after five years. So, on the next column, this space is allotted for amount of money at the end of the year. So, let's say after a year, since the principal amount is 10,000 pesos, Okay, multiply by multiplying this using your calculator, it will give you 10,200 pesos. And then for the second year, this will become your principal amount, the 10,200 pesos. And we will find again, it's 1.02. You will multiply it again. For the second year, that will become... 10,404 on the third year the principal amount will be 10,404 multiplied by 1.02 again and this will give you 10,612.08 on the fourth year this will become your principal amount the uh, 0 0.08 multiplied by 1.02 and this is 10,824.32 So after that for the last year your new principal amount will be 10,824.32 multiplied by 1.02 and this will give you 11,040.81 pesos Okay, so therefore after 5 years the money that Mr. Wong that he can get from the bank will be 11,040 pesos and 81 centavos so let us compare it if his money is um, compounded semi-annually okay so on the first year when we say semi-annually the interest rate is every six months because there are six months for half of the year semi-annually is half okay so from annual interest rate of two percent this will be divided by two since for every year there will be two six months so that will become two percent divided by two and that is 0 0.01 1% or 0 0.01 okay so this will become the rate every six months on the first row we are going to write one half 
after six months this is for after six months and after six months again that will become one year another six months that is one and a half another six months we have two years another six months two and a half and then it will become three another six months it's three and a half and this will become four and after six months that is four and a half and for the last after five years okay so next anyway if it is quarterly this will become two percent divided by four and this will become one fourth one half three fourths then one a uh, one and one fourth one and a half one and three fourths then two then two and one half and so on until you reach five so therefore um we can find now the future value if you're going to complete this table okay starting from this the amount of money that mr wong invested is ten thousand pesos and we are going to multiply it by 100% and 0 0.01 since 2% divided by 2 is 0 0.01 so that is 1.01 it is not 1.02 because it is semi-annually so we're going to divide 2% by 2 so multiplying this it will give you 10,100 this will become your new principal amount okay multiply by 1.01 again so that will become 10,201 this will be your new principal amount 10,201 multiply by 1.01 again and that is 10,303.01 this will be your new principal amount 10,303.01 multiply by 1.01 so that is 10,406.04 so this is our new principal amount multiply by 1.01 and that will become 10,501 10,510.10 next 10,510.10 times 1.01 this will become 10,615.20 then multiplying this again by 1.01 that is now 10,721.35 then from 10,721.35 multiply again by 1.01 that will become 10,828.56 from 10,828.56 multiply again by 1.01 that will become 10,936.85 and 10,936.85 times 1.01 that will become 11,046 pesos and 22 centavos and therefore the answer for this part for semi-annually will become 10,046 pesos and 22 centavos so if we're going to compare which one has a greater value the answer will be the semi annually what if it is quarterly or even monthly okay so if we're going to continue or to use the same method in computing for quarterly or monthly it will become laborious in our part I meaning you say we will be exerting a lot of effort for us to find the answer but there is another way on how to find the answer without this tedious way okay but, and that is by the use of the formula so remember that in using um in computing for annually we're going to use the formula f equals to p multiplied by 1 plus r raised to t where 
your principal value is 10,000 pesos multiplied by the rate is 0 0.02 1 plus 0 0.02 and our T is after 5 years and if we are going to use our calculator to compute for the value we have 10,000 times 1.02 raised to 5 it will give us the same answer as 11,040 pesos and 81 centavos what about if we are going to use or if we are going to compute for semi-annually using the, a formula or what kind of formula are we going to use so if it is the case we are going to use f is equal to p multiplied by 1 plus r over 2 since it is semi-annually if it is quarterly it's over 4 if it is monthly it's over 12 and so on raise to since for every year there are two compounding period we're going to use or oh, look at this for one year there are two for after two years there are two also so there will be raised to two to find for this value we are going to count for the number of compounding periods so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so to obtain 10 we have 2 times 5 so 2 is for semi-annually or there are 2 compounding periods for every year and then 5 because the question is asking for after 5 years so substituting the given to the formula we will get f equals to p that is 10,000 originally multiply by 1 plus our r is 0 0.02 divided by 2 raised to 10 okay if you are going to use our calculator in computing for this so let us have 10,000 multiply by 1 plus there is a fraction 0 0.02 over 2 then there is an exponent of 10 raised to 10 okay so this is the way on how you're going to use your calculator in computing for that so press equal that will become 11,046 pesos and 22 centavos okay look at the future value that we have computed in our calculator we, we have the same answer okay so that is the formula that we're going to use what is that again we have f equals to p multiplied by 1 plus i we can even use r or let's use i which stands for interest over m raised to m times t so what are these again you know already uh, what f stands for this stands for the future value this is for the principal amount this is constant it's always one i stands for the given interest rate okay okay so we have here m stands for the frequency of conversion meaning to say if the given is semi-annually m will become two if it is quarterly that is 4 if it is monthly that is 12 and so on so m that's the frequency conversion again and t is the given number of years okay so let's have more examples about this formula okay so this is another problem let's read Find the maturity value and interest if 10,000 pesos is deposited in a bank at 3% compounded quarterly for 5 years. So, this is all about compound interest once again, but it's compounding more than once a year. So, it's quarterly. Okay, so, the formula, okay, so the formula that we're going to use is F equals to P 
multiply by 1 plus i over m raised to m times t. Let us identify the given first. So we have here the given for our p that is 10,000 pesos. What about 3%? That represents your i or r. That is 3% or in decimal that is 0 0.03. Next, compounded quarterly. So meaning to say our m is 4 and our t is 5. Okay, let us now substitute this given to the to the formula. So we have f equals to p 10,000 pesos. We have 1 that is constant, it's always 1. i is 0 0.03. Our m is 4. Raised to m, 4 again, times your t is 5. Okay, so we have f equals 2. We can even um, compute directly on our calculator so we have 10,000 times 1 plus there's the fraction 0 0.03 over 4 close raised to 4 times 5 so the answer will be 11,611.84 but what if you don't have this kind of calculator so what are you going to do with that? So, if that is the case, just simplify the exponent. It's 20. So, that is 10,000 plus. You can also divide it first, then add by 1. So, what will happen? So, 1 plus uh, 0 0.03 divided by 4. Okay, let's add it by 1. So, the answer is 1 point. 0075 and then raised to 4 times 5 is 20 and then from here you can you have to raise this first into the exponent of 20 before you multiply it by 10,000 so there is an exponent of 20 is equal to okay so that is 10,000 multiplied by this you can directly multiply it so times 10,000 okay so the answer is the same that is 11,611 pesos and 84 centavos okay so this will be our answer that is the maturity value but we are also being asked to find the interest so knowing that i is equal to the future value minus the principal so let us subtract this by the principal amount of 10,000. So the interest is 1,611 pesos and 84 centavos. Okay, so let's have more examples. Okay, let us have another problem. Matt borrows 50,000 pesos and promises to pay the principal and interest at 10% compounded monthly how much must he repay after five years so let us identify the given here so we have that the principal amount is 50,000 pesos next so 10 represents your I or R that is your rate 10% or in decimal that is 0 0.1 Compound, compounded monthly so if it is monthly for every year there are 12 months so m is 12 and t is 5 ok let us now substitute the given what's the formula again that is f equals to p multiplied by 1 plus i over m raised to m times t so substitute now our p is 50,000 pesos multiply by 1 that's constant and then i is 
point zero one. Oh no no, it's point one zero point one. Do not be confused with that. It's zero point one over m. Our m is five. And then again, our m is five, and your t is five. So directly on our calculator, we can compute for its future value. That is fifty thousand times. 1 plus, there is a fraction, 0.1 over 5 raised to, there is an exponent, 5 times 5. So, the answer is 82,030 pesos and 30 centavos. Okay, so let us solve it um, slowly. So, from here, we can make it 25. Okay, we can divide this first. Let's divide this first. So, 0.1 divided by 5. That is one, uh, 0 0.02 plus 1. That is 1.02. Raised to 25. Multiply by 50,000. So, the answer is the same. We have 82,000 pesos. 82,030 pesos and 30 centavos so that is our answer and to find the interest just subtract the future value to its principal amount since it is not being asked for us to find the interest this is now our final answer okay so that's all for today i hope you enjoy learning about the problems involving compound interest which is compounding more than once a year and before I end up my video, I would like to give my special thanks to Mr. Adrian Dalikan and I hope you learned something. Goodbye!